That's all mine. <laughs> I'm closer to that than the rest of you. I, think. I want you to think back. What life would have been like a hundred years ago? You know, is it that much different than we have right now? There was no planes. There was no cars. The only writing utensil they had a year, a hundred years ago, was a pen that they dipped in ink and a pencil. And you know what they sharpened a the pencil with? A pocket knife. They didn't have pencil sharpeners. So a hundred years ago, there was a man. His name was William T. Hornaday. He was the keeper of the zoo in New York City. He studied the animals. He would go out on expeditions and study animals, collect animals and bring them back to the zoo so that people could see what was out there. And as he traveled, he recognized the impact that we were having as human beings in the wilds. That was a hundred years ago. He thought he needed to do something about that. Remember, a hundred years ago, what had just started up? Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts of America. Boy Scouts of America had a stewardship, didn't they? to be the keepers of the outdoor, to be the protector. For many, many years, we have been the protector of this great, great, great wilderness, this land that we have. William Hornaday saw that in the Boy Scouts. And he developed a, an award, a recognition, for those people that wanted to go out and do conservation, land preservation. <laughs> keep the land as it was. Make sure that we used it properly. It became known as the William T. Hornaday Award. It originally was called the Land Conservation while he was alive. But when he died, the Boy Scouts of America decided they would take over the presenting of that award and be the stewards of that award. Who here has, does, knows somebody that has the William T. Hornaday Award? Anybody know? We got one right here. Mr. Abraham has that award. How many of you guys know what an Eagle Project is? How many of you have helped on Eagle Projects? I think that's outstanding. Now I want you to take those Eagle Projects and times it by four or five. That's what's necessary to do a Hornaday Award project. In time, in effort, in manpower. Conservation. Taking care of the land. There's three awards you can work on. There's a bronze and a silver. Those you earn as an adult or a youth. There's a gold award. That is one that is presented to you after you got the gold and the silver. For your recognition, for the things that you've done over your lifetime to help conservation, to help preserve, to help people become aware of the land that we use. So as you begin this adventure tonight and tomorrow, I want you to look around. You're, you're your camp here. This is one of the premier camps that Boy Scouts of America have in the whole United States. This is one of the best. Look at the way the lands have been used and how you can take care of it. You know, look, observe. You saw some improper ways to take care of the land here tonight.
think of things that you could do in your community that would better serve nature in its beauty. Look around. You've got streams, you've got parks, you've got nature trails that all need to be maintained and improved and kept in proper order. Those are things that can be done in connection with the land manager and the landowners. Now if anybody here has the idea they want to do the Hornaday Award, the first thing you don't do is go down to the Forest Service or the BLM and walk in and say, I'm a Boy Scout, I want to get the Hornaday Award, what have you got for a conservation project for me? Because I can tell you right now, knowing the Forest Service people as I do, they'll look at you and say, young man, there's the door, when you decide what you want to do, come back and talk to us. Look at your community. Look around. Find projects. Ask your leaders. Ask the landowners that own the land, the farmers, the people along the creeks and the trails. What could you do to help maintain that trail? To help make sure that that trail is not eroded by the, by the snow and the rain that we get around here. Or by the foot traffic. Does it need a more durable surface? You're going to learn about that tomorrow. So think about this adventure you're on. Think about how you can make a difference by working on the Hornaday Award. It won't happen today. It won't happen next week. Hornaday Award, in most cases, takes a long, long time to go over cycles and adventures you see seasons. You want to take and make sure that the things that you do in the summertime are held over the winter and returned to you to the benefit of the land in the summer. So it takes time. It takes patience. It's demonstrating leadership and responsibility to the land. After all, we as scouts, the out part is what we are the stewards of. Think about it. Look up the Hornaday Award. Read what it's all about. Thank you.